Hello everyone, welcome to God's Intainted Word, this is Chris. Um, trying to catch up on this, I've had um, a lot going on in my life at the moment. Um, I know that was my reason last time, and I do, I, I haven't been fully committed to the channel. Um, but, but I will be um, doing this, I will continue doing this. Um, I've only got six more days to do, so um, as you can see, two missed days here. But we'll, we'll do today's, um, and then we'll do... Uh, we'll do today's, we'll do yesterday's, and we'll do the day before's as well, so, um, yeah, so, I'm thinking, hmm, I'm just trying to think, should I do all three days on the one, or should I do, I think I might, I might do them all on three one, okay, I'm going to do all three days on this one, just to save loading three videos up. Um, just to catch up. All right. Well, well, we'll get straight into it then. So, devotional. Love. It's active. Love is active. Love doesn't wait. It reaches out first. James, Jesus' brother, gave us a dramatic picture of someone having the means to help another and just giving warm, fuzzy, encouraging words instead. Warm words are good. They're better than harsh, condemning words, but they won't fill hungry stomachs. They won't put a roof over a homeless homeless refugee's head. And they won't meet gnawing emotional loneliness. Love is the decision to act and a commitment to keep on acting. Are you willing? Dear Lord, we think we've sat on the sidelines long enough. We can see... You have called us to something more. Help us to put our love in action today. May your Holy Spirit give us the sensitivity and courage to put love into creative action, or concrete action every day. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. James 2.16 And one of, you say, uh, one of you say unto them, Depart in peace. Be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful for, to the body, which what thou uh, what does it profit? Profit, uh, profit sorry, sad. <laughs> All right, well we're going to do that. We're going to go into the next one now. We'll do that as well. So we'll just go to uh, it's a devotional, and then First John four twelve. Loving takes patience. The English word patience has at least several ideas, all of which have applications concerning love. The first is an action done many times over for the purpose or with the result of acquiring skill of or proficiency. That's why someone might practice piano. The second is action or process of doing or being something. An idea may look good on paper, but not in actual practice. The third type is practice of practice is working at or being part of a professional occupation. We might say she practices law or he practices medicine. Are you practicing love? Am I practicing love? I, I, I hope that we all are, I think, or at least have a, a good foundation of if we are, um, you know, or know what that is. Father God. We're forever touched by your love and care, and care for us. Help us to practice that love. Extend it to those around us. Grant us the skills to improve on our expression and implementation of it. Give us creative and practical ideas to express your love to people today. In Jesus' name, Amen. 1 John 4.12 no man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. And we'll do the one more. We'll do the last one just to catch up to today. So, devotional, and then First John 4.16. I think it was that same one that we did. So, God loves us still. Some people have had the idea that the God in the Old Testament is somehow less loving than, or different than the God depicted in the New Testament. It may be surprising to them, for them to hear Jonah's description and his response to God. 
I knew that you are a gracious and compassionate God, slow to anger and abounding in love, a God who re relents for sending calvar uh, calamity, uh, calamity, uh, calamity, I don't know what that word is. Jonah 4.2, sorry about that. Um, righteous and pure? Definitely. All-knowing and all-powerful? Of course. But even more than that, the defining defining overriding characteristic of God is love dear Lord we're impressed today with the fact that love defines who you are we know that the closer we get to you the more effectively we can share and be the loving person you want us to be draw us closer to you Lord we want to be a reflection of your great love in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen John, 1 John 4, 16. And we have known and believed the love that God has, hath to love uh, to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love, dwelleth in God, and God in him. Alright, well thank you everyone. I'm, I'm kind of glad that I put all three in so I can just upload the, upload the, the video with all three of them. So, uh, thank you everyone. Sorry about, um, not being able to pronounce a couple of words and, 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 messing up a bit um, I've got a lot on my mind at the moment but I, I do want to continue to keep you guys up lifted and edified I want to continue to do what I can on my channel to reach you guys and, and speak to you guys in love and, and guide you guys as much as I can um, but I ask that you guys pray for me keep me in your prayers um, keep me keep me on the straight and narrow um, convict me um, guide me and also just show me anything that you guys might be going through and potentially I might be going through that too and I could potentially shed some light on those situations as well. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ and we need to make sure that as brethren we need to guide and uplift each other. So I do ask for prayer for you guys, from you guys to help out me through. Um, thank you so much for just being on this channel and just following me along with this because I'm, as I said I'm doing this for the first time myself. So... Um, you know, I'm doing this for the first time myself as well, so there's definitely, I'm getting something out of this just as much as I hope you guys are getting something out of this, so thank you, um, I love you all, and God bless.